uh, where he actually, the twelfth time his heart shut off, he passed over. He, he made public testimony that he heard these sounds in heaven, and he called these frequencies of the periodic table the voice of God speaking. This man was walking with a stick. He was, I mean, he had a trap nerve in his back. He was going to trap it off for Shoot. 10 years. Wow. And he listened to a couple of these CDs, of frequencies of the heart and frequencies of thought. And within days, the pain left, and he got off wow. 10 years of trap it off. Wow. And he was even a negativity and an evil and a demonic. And they know that, and they use it. And, uh... I know they're using a rap music and hip hop, you know, and, and Satanism. So talk to us just a little bit about that on the opposite yeah. spectrum. Um, what I have come to realize is that the spirits in people are mm. what infuse the music with what is picked up mm. as demonic activity. John Tussie and I, before we get to chit chatting, uh, do share this on your wall. And at the end of this, we're going to tell you how can you get a, a download, a copy of this uh, project, uh, the Heavenly Decree EP, and also how could you win a free uh, CD tangible that's signed by uh, yourself, myself, yours truly. Uh, so, John, real quick, uh, talk to us. You know, who are you? You know, um, uh, there's some people here that don't know who you are. You're known as a frequency man. Okay. I mean, uh, just talk to us real quick, a few minutes introduction about yourself. Okay. Uh, I'm originally from Salem, New Jersey, but I'm very blessed to live in uh, Hawaii on the island of Oahu. And uh, it's, it's amazing here. I've been, um, you know, I've been playing music since I was six years old. Uh, I have um, extensive training behind me, thankfully with an amazing musician uh, from Wilmington, Delaware, who was a one-stop shop for me. He trained me for a lifetime. And uh, I've been in, in music ministry for over 47 years now. Wow. And, ha and in, in the process of recording CD number 24, I have more than 25 years of private music instruction, uh, you know, teaching students behind me. And um, I've had the privilege of working with some really amazing people along the way, uh, including a lady that was at one time the best-selling living artist, and that was when I was 25, 26 years old. Mm. And that's that's a story by itself. I mean, so much inspiration came uh, from working with her. She's 91 now. Her name's Carolyn Blish. Uh, Carolyn Blish Studio, B-L-I-S-H, on um, Facebook. And she's still going. Uh, wow. Just, yeah, amazing. But the Lord has uh, blessed me in so many ways, and His, <laughs> you know, His amazing grace, His favor... And um, just everything that he does, it, it just causes my spirit to bubble, bubble over with an amazing amount of joy. And um, there's just an enormous amount that I could share. So I'll, I'll let you ask the questions so that I don't, you know, go on rabbit trails and stuff like that. Oh, it's good okay. to be with you, man. Yeah, likewise, likewise. Uh, that's incredible. I know that uh, there's a real gift and anointing uh, in your music uh, pr producing, uh, in your music composing. And uh, you said you just released your 22nd? Well, I'm in the process right now uh, of recording my 24th. I've finished uh, eight out of the 10 tracks. Oh, and, awesome. Uh, there's a story about how the music came. Uh, I received three separate downloads of uh, CDs from heaven. I saw the CDs in the right. first two encounters, did not see them in the third. But uh, I know where the music comes from. And I'm always very, um, I don't know if the word cautious or just, uh, you know, I, I'm always of the heart to give him all the glory and the praise. And, and I do believe that when he gives us these gifts and he, uh, you know, he has a global impacting uh, plan for us, it's very important to always give him the utmost respect and honor for what he does, for what he's imparted, and never to speak lightly or in any way, uh, in a, you know, just a, you know, like, oh, you know, you know what I mean? Just always giving great honor and glory to God uh, for what he's done, for what he's doing, for what he's imparted. It's so exciting. I'm just so excited because, you know, you were talking about frequencies. I was mentored yeah. by a man named David Vancouver. He was a Christian quantum physicist. Mm. He had input into the instrument that forever changed the music industry. He created the market for it. It's called the Moog synthesizer. Mm. So he was very drawn to me and introduced me to a technology I used to release music uh, with the frequencies of the periodic table of elements. And people have been physically healed. There's testimonies from all over the wow. world. Uh, there is a very strong uh, interest in this music. It's, um, you know, only God could do what I have landed in. 
<laughs> you know, it's, it's just totally amazing. And I'm just so, so grateful to God because he's so good. He's just so good. Come on. Yeah. Wow. Incredible. I know you're talking a little bit about, uh, uh, you know, uh, this mentor of yours and uh, understanding the frequencies. Real quick, I want to ask you, um, you know, uh, I mean, this whole understanding quantum physics frequency sounds and how that could actually heal people set the captives free put uh put things into alignment into their bodies i mean talk to us real quick just about that well first of all I'll, just a tiny bit of background david vancouver gave public testimony and i have it recorded it's less than two minutes maybe two and a half minutes uh where he actually the 12th time his heart shut off he passed over and he said he heard wow. sounds and saw colors it was amazing he said his uh, bandwidth really went up being a scientist he would you know, often speak in scientific terms that were just really cool. And he always had a captive audience because of the way he spoke, the authority with which he spoke, and the anointing that he carried. Uh, he was a great man and still is. He's just in a different place now. Mm -hmm. But um, he was convinced. See, he, he made public testimony that he heard these sounds in heaven, and he called these frequencies of the periodic table the voice of God speaking in a very wow. adamant, in a very direct, in a very strong way, as, you know, if you've ever heard him speak. He's very, very strong and authoritative. And when he says something, you just know it's coming from deep conviction mm. and you just receive it. It's good. Yeah. So uh, these frequencies, you know, I have a couple of YouTube testimonies on my YouTube channel, John Tussie Music. Uh, yeah, you talked about something. You mentioned exactly what's happened. This man was walking with a stick. He was, I mean, he had a trapped nerve in his back. He was on Tramadol for Shoot. 10 years. Wow. And he listened to a couple of these CDs of frequencies of the heart and frequencies of thought. And within days, the pain left, and he got off wow. of the 10 years of tramadol. Wow. And he was being weaned off of short-acting morphine. Another wow. friend of mine in uh, Newark, Delaware, I met with her a couple months ago, a great gal. She's going to Randy Clark's. Well, she finished her first uh, year at Randy Clark's school in um, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, and just on fire for God. And, you know, uh, a couple of years ago, she came to a meeting that I was doing where we, we were just listening to frequencies of abundance. Mm. And um, so she had been getting uh, well she had back pain that was getting worse and so after she went home uh, she noticed her back was healed but her testimony on YouTube is amazing because she said she with the different tracks she had different physical sensations in her body wow like tingling yeah, yeah. In, you know like uh, vibrating in her body like hot hands she said a couple of times it was like a wall of fire was behind her back and she had to turn around to see if somebody had laid hands on her it was just amazing and she came as kind of an intellectual type, you know, mm. yeah, very yeah. spiritual gal, but at the same time, intellectual, you know, and, and you can see in her testimony, I mean, uh, <laughs> what happened was, it was just totally phenomenal. Wow. And, you know, to get, this is what really makes life rich. When God has imparted something and you release it and it goes out and then you get testimonies like this. Yeah. And, uh, you know, there have been so many other testimonies, uh, mentally, emotionally, people being helped uh, yeah. greatly. And, and so many more. But, well, uh, well. Uh, also, on the other side, John, there's even the demonic frequencies, yeah. um, negative energy, um, you know, and, and even in music, and Lucifer understands that, the satanic realm understands that. <clears throat> so on the opposite spectrum, why don't you break it down for us, just on the opposite spectrum as well? Because, you know, you're saying, uh, I mean, there's sounds, frequencies that are released from heaven, and science, this, this periodic table, breaks it down to the elements, but there's even a negativity and an evil and a demonic, and they know that, and they use it. And uh, I know they use it in rap music and hip-hop, you know, and, and Satanism. So talk to us just a little bit about that on the opposite spectrum. You know, Ben, um, <clears throat> we've heard, you know, and I have to laugh when I talk about it, because I've heard people, you know, in, in a very sincere way, talk about the frequencies of heaven. Well, when you think about it, God created every sound and frequency there is and i'm sure that there are an untold number of infinite uh frequencies in heaven uh, talking about the music you know when i was a teenager i was in a teenage rock band and i was the wild when i was playing the keyboard and i you know i just needed <clears throat> so much attention and that's why i was so wild i just you know I, I was trying to get attention so anyway you know we go through these things when we're younger but you know um what i have come to realize is that the spirits in people are mm. what infuse the music with what is picked up mm. as demonic activity. 
Okay. It's the spirit that is infused. David Vancouvering says something very interesting. He said, if a recording is anointed at the time it is recorded, then when someone listens to it, he shows up live every time. That's good. It's a yeah. live anointing. It's yeah. not a recorded. He said the anointing, the band level is so high, you cannot record it. Wow. So what we experience on the, on the God side is God showing up live in our car, in our room, in wherever we're listening, when we have an anointed recording plan. Yeah. But as far as the demonic side, it is what's infused through the people who are demonically influenced, maybe possessed or obsessed, that are recording it and infusing that into the music when it's being recorded yeah. or, or live. You know, um, the devil, you know, for lack of a better word, you know, I could, I could name, you know, rock artists that were so-called, sorry to use the word anointed by the devil, forgive me if, if that's offensive, not meaning to be offensive, but I don't know, maybe I should say empowered, but you get the drift. Sure, right? yeah. I mean, they have this, they have this, yeah, yeah. this, this demonic, charismatic pull on people. I mean, I could name some of them from, you know, from my era, you know, uh, but I won't. Um, so, you know, and then there are on the other side, you know, we... We, we listen to it and we go to meetings where very anointed minstrels and psalmists mm. are worshiping God. It's the God. spirit that yeah. is behind what's being done. That, I believe, is, what, good. You know, that, is really what's happening. Let me ask you one more question uh, on this topic before I move on, because I'm being intrigued. I'm sure many people of our viewers right now and on the replay are enjoying this. Once again, if you're enjoying this, give us some hearts, likes, thumbs up, shares because we're actually in a topic where we're discussing something that many people don't uh, discuss and talk about, right? Uh, but I, I wanna ask you, um, how does one um, hear the sounds, songs, frequencies of God, and how do you release that on the earth? And I mean, you're a music producer, music composer, this is what you do. How do you be that funnel, that shofar? How do you be that funnel and release that here on the earth? Because I know there's many people watching now and on the replay that uh, love worship, love music. Uh, you know, there are worshipers in spirit and in truth. And, you know, you want to release this on the earth. And you know it's God, but you don't know how. How, how, how did you do that? How, how are you doing this? Well, you know, Ben, uh, from years and years back, you know, when I was still in New Jersey, playing for uh, the church that I was a part of for many years in Salem, New Jersey, which is in the southern part, I learned to just tap in and flow with the Holy Spirit. And I tapped in to a place where, for years and years, I have been able to just tap in at any given moment, at any given time, at, on any given day, and just flow. The word that I like to use is flow. Mm. All you have hey. to do is tap in and flow. And you know, if you've never done this before, it's not difficult. The Lord doesn't make it difficult for yeah, us. Yeah, that's good. You know, uh, the Bible says that the gospel, you know, it talks about the simplicity. Paul talks about yeah. that in 1 Corinthians, the simplicity of the gospel. And the Lord doesn't make things complicated. So, you know, when I received those downloads from heaven, I'll just give a quick story about the first one. Yeah. It was like uh, February 28th. It was about 4.30 in the afternoon. It was the last session of a glory school with Patricia King. I can probably take you to the place where I was standing when this happened in the church here in Iaea not too far from where I am right now. So I'm standing with my hands raised, and we had ascended into the heavenlies during this, uh, this uh, time. So I saw myself while I was standing there with my hands, hands raised. I saw myself seated on a white cloud and this large, like, shiny black, maybe t a 9, 10 foot concert grand piano. I'm swaying back and forth, sitting on the piano bench in kind of like a, a, a spirit form. Not a solid form, but more mm. of a a fluid type of a form. While I'm watching this, my hands, I'm sure you've had this experience many times, I have, starts to tingle. That, that The power of God, like an electrical current, is in my hand. Mm. And Jesus placed a CD in my right hand. So wow. I placed my hand over my heart. Then I put my hands up again. And I saw in succession, I knew they were numbered, but I couldn't see the numbers, but I knew there were 25. They came real fast. 25 more came in my hand. So I placed my hand over my heart. That same year, I went to Media, Pennsylvania, and received 50 more. My friend, uh, his wife's a prayer general. His name is Bush. Her name is Ina. We were standing holding hands near his large video truck 
uh, he's a, a video producer, in his driveway. And 50 CDs dropped down through the top of my head. So oh. I knew it was 50, and I saw it. Another time, this is the third time, I didn't intend to go this far, but this is real quick. I was at the same house. Now, Media, Pennsylvania is a good place to receive from God, I'm telling you. Think of the word media. <laughs> so I'm, I'm in his house. I'm in his house. And I got the impression I had received 100 more CD downloads. Didn't see them this time. But I believe my friend Butch actually <clears> confirmed <throat> the number. Now between, uh, uh, rather, uh, if you add those numbers, that's 176 downloads from heaven. You know, the river of inspiration is always flowing. We can always yeah. tap into it. It's just yeah. like receiving a prophetic word, Ben. Yeah. You know. You start out. You start out just by sometimes speaking a few words, or maybe God gives you a sentence, right? And then all of a sudden, it just flows. I remember one of my former pastors was a very prophetic apostolic man. He said he saw a prophetic word typed out over the congregation, and as he read it, the words disappeared. I thought that was so cool. Mm. Yeah. So, you know, the music comes when I record. It's usually spontaneous as it's received. My friend Gary Beaton described it as mm. unzipping a zip file. When you unzip a zip file, boom, the file opens up and everything is right there. So I push the record button and step out in faith. It's like jumping off the diving board. And lo and behold, what happens? Well, music comes that I've never, you know, that I've never recorded before. You know, some of the sounds you may recognize from, mm. you know, chord progressions perhaps you've heard before in the music. But... It's it's you it's all uh, it all has in its uh, overall sound it's all unique and you know God is infinite He has oh my Lord He has so many songs yeah, that need on. to be released hey. into the earth come on come now on. Yep, yep. you know what I'm saying and you know God just and you know I don't know how many people are releasing the sound of heaven but hmm. you know it's such a privilege yeah it's so exciting so to be that. releasing this. And then to have these testimonies come where people are being healed and, you know, deliverances are taking place. And, uh, I mean, it even calms dogs and cats and helps people sleep. I mean, yeah, that's you know, good. I thank God. I just give him all the praise, all the glory. Wow. And I'm so thankful to be sitting in the middle of this and, and just, you know, watching what happens. You know, I realize he can use anybody to do this. And I'm just grateful to be one of them, truly and sincerely. Well, we absolutely need uh, people who understand how to bring that sound, that vision, that idea, um, that uh, perspective from heaven to earth and manifest it. And uh, praise God for the creative such as yourself. I know I'm a creative. Uh, people who are prophetic, who can tap in to the Holy Ghost and make it a reality. And, uh, you know, praise God for that because... You are called to be a prophet, people of God. You are called to be a mouthpiece of the Lord, and you are meant to release the sound from heaven. And um, uh, talk to us real quick, uh, John. Uh, I don't know if it's possible, actually, to even play. I know we didn't discuss this on the background. That's how ill-prepared I am. I apologize. Uh, I don't know if it's possible to play some in the background, John. But before we do that, talk to us um, why this one, why this second project, this EP, um, Heavenly Decrees, our first project is called um, Glory Impartations. Do you have a download, a copy of Glory Impartations? Man, I, I feel the glory on that one already. i just talking about it. But our first EP is called Glory Impartations. And the second one, which we are officially launching today, right now, <laughs> in Jesus' name, is called Heavenly Decrees. So talk to, talk to our audience, our viewers why um, you enjoyed this project, or if you didn't, but, uh, you know, what's special, <laughs> what's, you know, what stands out uh, to you about this Heavenly Decrees EP project? And, and, and if you can, play some of it uh, in the background for us. Okay, I have it up on iTunes right now. The oh. thing is, um, I'll turn the volume up on my computer. We'll just remain quiet when it's playing so that there's no bouncing back and forth between, you know, what we're saying and, and uh, what's coming through uh, this exactly. computer. But, um, so I'll do that in just a moment, but um, I always enjoy releasing into the, you know, the, you know, we have to call it a prophetic musical flow, just because it is by nature. Sure. Um, and you know, Ben, it was so easy. As I was listening to you speak, the music just flowed out. And um, you, you brought a lot of revelation and a lot of truths and compassion and whoever listens to this has something waiting well those who haven't have something waiting to receive from Come on. i already heard from one of my friends her name is jennifer song jennifer song yeah yeah yes and uh, she's another uh, korean believer like yourself she's a great gal she loves god and she has great depth of spirit 
and she was probably the first one to buy it on iTunes. Oh, yeah, there you go. Come yeah. On. So she left a really nice review mm. of the CD. So if our listeners go to iTunes, uh, they can read that. And uh, it's always nice to read what others write. Yeah, come on. Um, you know, I do believe this has the potential of reaching a lot of people and being a blessing in many people's lives. Jen was really blessed when she listened to it. Mm. You know, our friend Cal Bales is listening. All right. And I just have a feeling he's going to buy it today if he hasn't already, because I, I just know that he will. He bought Glory Importations, mm. and he, he really loved that one. Yeah. And, uh, you know. <laughs> that, that was a good one. I, I really enjoyed that one. Yeah. yeah. And Heavenly yeah. Decrees, the second one, is going to be awesome. And then our third one, which we're going to work on, that's going to, that's going to change everything, too. So I'm excited about that one. So, yeah. Isn't it exciting, Ben, to just enter into a flow that's very easy to enter into? And I hope I answered your question before about how to tap in. Well, you know, you just, you don't try to do this. You don't try hard. Come on. Trying hard doesn't get anywhere. Come on, preach. Yep. You, you just flow into it. Come on. Shababa. You just get with the Lord. That's why it's so important to have that intimate relationship with our Heavenly Daddy. Because that's the way we tap into His depths. Come on. He won't hold anything back from us. Come on. When we pay the price to have that intimate relationship yes. that he wants so much and that our spirit man is continually craving for. Yes. And, and so from that place, that's where you you released from what you released Come in on. the spoken word, and that's where I released from. That's good. In the music. Come on, so, so good. Somebody's asking real quick, John, is it on yeah. Spotify? I don't think so, right? It is not on Spotify. It is not on any subscription-based website. It is, I'll tell you where it is. It's on iTunes, it's on Amazon, CD Baby, and Google Play. It's on those four places. So if you have an Android phone, you can easily download it from Google Play. If you have an iPhone, you can easily download it <clears throat> from iTunes. If you're using a computer, you can download it from either one of those places, plus uh, Amazon and CDBaby.com. So it's really, really simple. The price is very, very reasonable. And I know, Ben, that you wanted the price to be very affordable so that anybody that, uh, you know, wanted to buy it could could afford it easily. Yeah. And uh, Amen. It's, it's, I think it's under $5. So, wow. um, oh, that's you know, it? You know, oh, my God. And I, I don't know if I should say this, Ben, but being Jewish, if it was me, I would be charging more. I'll just be up front. Oh, man. Well, <laughs> it's only $5. I think we should have made it more expensive. So you guys better buy it now before we right change now. the price. That's right. And we, we're going to actually change the price. I didn't know it was only $5. What the heck? Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, by, the, by the way, we have the ability, uh, you know, to change the price uh, on iTunes. They can yeah. do that. Okay. Uh, yeah. So good. good. So you guys better so, purchase. It's only $5 for that, the download. In so fact, if you, if you buy the, uh, the tangible CDs, um, which we're going to be sending uh, to some of you who are watching now or on the replay. And at the end of this video, I will tell you how you can be, one of the winners for uh, a signed tangible CD. Okay, it's awesome. Uh, but uh, it's only five dollars right now, and it'll only be five dollars maybe for a day or two. I can't believe it. What the heck, Lord? I was very too too nice, too generous. But anyways, <laughs> ben, um, you're very generous. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, um, we're probably gonna make it like fourteen ninety nine. But anyways, hey John, uh, let's let's hear uh, a, yeah. a, a few. Uh, you know, a okay. snippet of a few, uh, two or all three, right. and then yeah. uh, we're gonna end end the show. All right. Okay. Yeah. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to, uh, as we would say in Jersey, I'm going to jack up the volume of the computer. And so we're, we're just going to remain silent so that we only have one sound source coming in. And you can give me a thumbs up uh, from your end to let me know uh, how the volume is. Uh, let me see here. Okay, so I'm going to start out with uh, promotions in the spirit. There are promotions for the children of God. It is absolutely necessary for us to continue to go higher from realm to realm and level to level. It's time for you to be promoted. No longer will you be on the sidelines, but you will be brought up to the front lines. No longer will you just sit on the bench, but you will go out onto the field and play ball. God is raising up the underdog. He is raising up the nameless and the faceless. The least of these is the greatest. Okay, I'm going to go to restoration now. Come on.
God is releasing restoration on the earth. The Bible says that the devil tries to steal, kill, and destroy, but it's time for the enemy to pay back what he has tried to take away from you. You see, our God is a just and merciful God. He is not unjust, but he is the one who redeems and restores, and he is the God of the more. The Bible says that the enemy will have to pay back. Okay, and now just a little bit of, uh, do you want me to play Running with the Horses or the Father of Abundance? Now, the Father of Abundance is a piano and strings. So okay. I used a variety of different sounds so that when you listen to the music, the instrumentation doesn't all sound the same. It all sounds mm. different. Mm. Well, I think that's important. Um, so I'm go for it. Like, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. in your hands right now. Go for it. All right. I'll play a Father of Abundance. Our God is not a cheap God. He's not somebody who's lacking. He's not somebody who is poor. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. There's an attitude of humility that will bring you into abundance. When you abide in the vine, you will abound in the fruit that will last. How much fruit do you want? So there's the piano, but there's the strings mm. that, that carry uh, a continuity of sound. You know, because piano, you, you hit the piano key and the sound only lasts for so long. Mm. For, so for doing something like this as background music, uh, it's nice to have a continuity, you know, the piano and the strings together. So um, I'm really pleased with the way it turned out. And uh, I hope you are too, Ben. I think you are. And, wow. Um, um, yeah. So That's wonderful. Yeah, that, that was very beautiful. Uh, it's, uh, I did hear uh, the first three, I believe. But, wow, when you guys hear it in your ears or in your car surround, it's a whole new level. Uh, rather than just hearing it through the Facebook Live, because, of course, oh, yeah. it's picking it from a computer. But, wow, guys, you guys are great. You guys are awesome. Uh, who is already purchasing it right now on iTunes, Amazon? How can people get it and purchase it? It's only $5 right now. You can purchase it. And then uh, right after uh, John Tussie tells you how, you can purchase it. Again, uh, I'll tell you how you can actually uh, get win a free copy uh, with a sign from myself, yours truly. So uh, where can they purchase it, John? Get it. Okay, so uh, iTunes, Amazon, cdbaby.com, that's c-d-b-a-b-y.com, and Google Play. Those are all easily accessible from a computer or a phone. However, with your phone, if you have an iPhone, you need to download it from iTunes. If you have an Android phone, go to Google Play. Look for Ben Lim. And just type in Ben Lim, and it'll come up, Ben Lim and John Tussie. Or you can type <clears> in <throat> Heavenly Decrees or Glory Impartations in the search box. Heavenly Decrees or Glory Impartations, and you'll find... Uh, but anyways, love you guys, and listen, this is how you get to win uh, a free signed uh, um, CD. Uh, all right? Number one, uh, you have to share this video on your wall, all right? Uh, and number two, you have to email us, all right, email at our ministry website, benjaminlim6 at gmail.com. Email us why you want to win a free copy uh, of this. And, uh, you know, just do those two easy things, and uh, maybe you'll be the winner uh, of a free signed copy. You know, it's just a little fun free giveaway. But, uh, you know, we love you guys. Mm -hmm.